Hello everyone, in this video we are going to see how we can create a MVC architecture based ASP.NET web application. So for that you can use Visual Studio. You can download Visual Studio. Now we can uh, go ahead and search Visual Studio and then click download. Here we have the free version called Community Edition. Using that we can do development the thing is this will available for your Mac or also for Windows now uh, it shows that the Visual Studio is not available for Linux but you can use the Visual Studio in your Mac but Visual Studio Mac version doesn't supporting any uh, Windows form development or windows application development but this is totally enough for develop the dotnet uh, asp application so you can go ahead and download i will also include this link in the description and uh, this is the community version that we have to download as a free version okay now when you download that you will get the installer so the installer you have to select you want to uh, do the asp.net development here the download file should be started if not you have to click the click here to retry button okay now i'm going to show you how we can do the installation so this is the file you have to double click that to install the I will press o open now here it is uh, open in the installer this is currently checking whether if any of dotnet uh, version is installed or not okay now I'm going to press continue here it shows some packages are already been installed so if only the dot net that you can select here for the asp.net and then click the install and then it will be download okay now after downloading that we can go ahead and open our visual studio you can open your launchpad and then go to visual studio or if you are using windows you can just uh, open your application window and then select that okay now this is the uh, home page that you are seeing in this visual studio for mac to create a .NET asp application we can uh, click this new button and then here you have to go to the app section you will see this asp.net core section inside this you will see this web application and inside parentheses model hyphen view hyphen controller this is the application that we are going to develop so here we have to select the language i'm going to select c sharp and then click continue now here you will see the target framework available so i will select the latest one which is the dotnet 7.0 now actually this is under the dotnet core that means this is supporting multi uh, devices now there are one thing which is the authentication this if you select this no authentication that means built in login and sign up functions and uh, these uh, components will not available in your application and you have to ma manually and configure those now if you select individual authentication the built-in authentication system will be included in your application including the lo login registration that kind of things you can also configure settings for uh, verification of user by email now if you select this individual authentication in your Mac the local database file will be created and is, uh, is stay in the project folder 
if you are doing this with the windows uh, it will create the database in other way you can configure that uh, using migrations now uh, i will go ahead and open my project with individual authentication so i will press continue here we have provide the project name i will say uh, first underscore project now here we have to select the project location in mac we are seeing this uh, as the project location so you can press browse and open and the folder in order to uh, have the project location okay now if you select this put project file in a subfolder that means a new folder will be created using this project name inside of this path okay now we can also set up the uh, git for this project by checking this use git for version control now right now i don't want to do that so i will go ahead and press the create button so this is our first dotnet uh, core asp.net application okay now to run this we can just press this play button in windows if you are using visual studio you can uh, see there are some build button available in this side in the middle so we can uh, press this button then it this will open the application through the browser currently it is building and uh, it is open in the window okay here the project is completed so this is containing some built-in uh, authentication we can press this register and then i will say some email address here and then uh, some password so the validation is also there so it is very supportive you don't have to manually do checking these conditions so the account is created now you can see the database is working that means if you hover into your project in the mac you will see this app.db but if you are using windows you are not uh, able to see this but i think that will be available in a other way so here there are some local database files but the thing is in the future lesson we are going to see how we can configure these authentication and how we can configure our database as mysql so for that i am going to use exam and php my admin you can use your mysql uh, community or any my mysql server application otherwise you can also use sql server otherwise you can use hosted php my admin database okay in uh, your server now i hope i gave you clear understand of how we can get started this mvc based uh, .NET, ASP .NET application that means uh, MVC means you know uh, we are handling our user interfaces with the views here this is the views folder and we are handling our database and all kind of uh, data related stuff in this models folder related to the database and then the controller is responsible for the uh, build the connection between the view and the model view and the database so this controller will handle uh, receiving inputs and uh, sending data to the model and receiving data from the models and sending back to the views okay i hope this video has if this video helps please subscribe thank you